Hello everybody and welcome, this is Spoonie with another shipbuilding tutorial for Starbase. In this video, we're going to briefly go over the ore detector. I'm going to show you what it does, how to set one up, and if you've already got one on your ship, I'm going to show you how to make it up to three times more powerful, potentially eliminating the need to install multiple. So these are assembled exactly like the mining laser or the material point scanner. The only difference is the ore collector itself. So for this, you're going to need a utility tool body, two utility tool and rail cannon capacitors, the ore collector, a turret cradle, a turret turntable, and a hard point. While I'll be using a turret cradle, you could also use an advanced turret cradle or the small turntable mount number two. If you're using the small turntable mount number two, remember to use a small turret turntable with it. To assemble this, we're going to place our utility tool body into our turret cradle. Next, we're going to place the ore collector into the utility tool body. Next, we'll place the capacitors into the cradle in the back. Then we'll place all of this down onto the base and the base down onto the hard point. Remember to bolt everything together. And now you're ready. So now that we've got our ore collector placed on our ship exactly where we want, everything's bolted down and we've run cables to our hard point, it's time to set down a button so that we can turn this on or off. I like to use a warning light button because it's simple and binary, and so is the ore collector. It's either on or it's off. The reason I like to use the warning light button for this is because it's really easy to forget when you've left the ore collector on. The warning light button just gives you that subtle reminder that you need to turn it off. This will drain your batteries if you forget about it. So we'll go to our asset browser, we'll type in warning light, and we'll place down a warning light button. These can be a bit tricky, so it's helpful to rotate them before you place them down. Don't forget to bolt them. And now we're ready to set this up. So we're going to select our ore collector. And where it says toggle on, we're going to rename this to just the word ore. Then we'll go to our warning light button. And we'll change button state to also say ore. Now, let's go into test mode and see if this works. When we press the button, it lights up, and you can see that it's changing the value of OR from a 1 to a 0. 1 represents ON, 0 represents OFF. If we want to make our OR collector more powerful, we can select it in the Ship Builder, or we can press U while looking at it to bring up our Universal Tool. And we can change this power field, which is set to 2000 by default, up to 6000. That'll make our ore collector three times more powerful than it is by default. It'll also make it drain our batteries more quickly. You won't necessarily need more than one ore collector unless you have a large number of mining lasers. One ore collector set to a power level of 6,000 is typically enough to keep up with the rate of mining unless you have enough lasers that you're capable of flash mining an asteroid. If you do want to install multiple ore collectors, the setup is exactly the same. You don't need a second button. All you need to do is rename that first name value to ore, just like we did on the first ore collector. And if we want to adjust the angle that our ore collector is facing, we can select the turret cradle to adjust the pitch or the turret base to adjust the rotation. And that's everything we need to do to set up our ore collector. It's now ready to use.